sometimes think maybe almost got a bit spoiled here sometimes we've just been so lucky with this den sometimes we almost come here if everything else is quiet but it's such a privilege to have hyenas this relaxed this comfortable and we've seen these pups grow up we've seen a lot of fantastic behavior sometimes when the adults aren't around and the three sort of just hanging around like almost waiting for the adults to get home very very lucky and a real privilege to be able to have to have a den in the area that we can reach and also to have spent so much time with them here. I mean these groups incredibly comfortable with vehicles obviously and like with anything that is available not quite on demand but that you can predict a little bit sometimes people get used to it but it really is a very very special setting this beautiful den site itself and in the Ability, the opportunity for us to be in in the space and share it with these ahinas, something very special. I'm going to go around to the other side of the den quickly. Just want to see if there's not maybe other ahinas around. Otherwise, we'll come back and sit with these two again on this side. Look at these ahinas. I've just from where I'm sitting now, I can see around the others aren't us, just these two. This is one of the views of the den I've always enjoyed because you've got all this beautiful green foliage in the foreground. As you can see, a perfect location. As I said, it's a fantastic den site. This see she's lying just outside the main entrance perfect early morning sunlight especially in winter time this was just what's demanded also another den entrance that you can't see from where they are now but further on the back of it so this front and the back door to the den and also the trees growing on the middle of it on the big termite mound means that whichever way the sun's moving around in the day there's always some shade available so it really is a fantastic sight As I said, they do have some of the best smell, smell or scent out here. Wouldn't quite say they've got the best smell out here. And they do smell a bit like they. Mm -hmm. 
forward again. <laughs> How do you like that, Roy? It's nice. So, those of you that maybe first time you might be joining us, like Roy is today on the vehicle here. This is a Hina Den that we've been following over the last many months, since April, since we've gone live, really. Had some incredible views around here. See that mother just letting the youngster have a suckle. And there should be two other young pups around here as well. Beautiful soft lights in them as well. Always love coming here. Like I said, I'm surprised we're not seeing any of the other youngsters. We'll have a look around maybe at the back end of the day, Norm. Maybe some of them just deciding to take it a little bit easy this morning. Very interesting, hyena pups drink or suckle much longer than most mammals do. Anything up to 14, 15 months even, well over a year. And already at this age now, the older ones here... I can't remember the exact age, but they're probably around eight months old now, seven, eight months. And they will be eating bits of bone and meat and bits and pieces that the clan members bring back to the den. But still reliant on mother's milk. Extremely rich milk, very, very high in calcium. You can imagine these animals, a large part of their diet consists of bones and marrow and so on. And also, because hyenas cover a great bit of ground and they have to sometimes walk very far for finding the food that they scavenge because of that it benefits them to 